Hello, my friends of YouTube. So, you may be wondering why I'm making another video again so soon. Uh, and by so soon, I mean I'm almost exactly two hours later. Um, well, first, I realized it was going to be an all-nighter, so I may as well continue on the code I had just finished writing, which was the login screen. Now, uh, I had an issue. I, I thought, you know, it may be cool if not only could they log in with the desired username and password, but if they could also register their own username and password, right? I mean, that's usually how it works, right? So, I was like, okay, I'm going to add this, and I started doing it, and I didn't back up what I had already. I mean, I have the original file still, yes, but it's already compiled into an exe, so I can't, there's no changing what it is. So I just worked on the Python file again. I started, you know, going at it. And I won't go into too much detail about it, but I, I um, changed. It was opening, it was reading from a file that I had for the usernames and stuff. And I had it, um, I changed it to write. And that means, like, overwrite. Uh, instead of actually, instead of um, appending to it. I wrote to it, which means I over wrote everything, and I was at the time I wasn't doing it in a different text file. I was just doing it in the file login. Dot pi. So, I basically erased the entire program, and I started from scratch. So it's taken two hours to rewrite it, but the new version is here after two long hours of hard work. <laughs> so, but anyways, without further ado, my login screen, the second version, and it is like an entire new version because it does have an entire new um, feature. It's got to extract a little bit. Alright, here we are. There we go. So, there's a couple things I'll show you that I changed. I did add a username Motleyfire. And now you can't see when I type in passwords. Which is probably a good thing, you know, because you're not. I don't want people to see when you're typing and they're looking over your shoulder, you know? Welcome, Motley Fire. Yeah. Alright. You know, so just so you know, it doesn't work on just anything invalid, you know. It still works with admin and let me in. Welcome, admin. It still works for the ones that I had. Let's go ahead in add a new username. I'll show you that this registration process works. So let's go ahead and show the first. Let's say we're going to make a new user and it's going to be called hmm, Python, just because that's what we wrote this in. Python. Password should be uh, T-K-I-N-T-E-R. TK enter TK interface. That's what I'm using to do this. So try logging in. It says it's not valid. Okay. Well, I guess I could have left that in the field. I want to make a username called Python. The password will be TK enter. We're gonna register. Thank you, you are officially registered. Well, <laughs> thanks. Alright, thank you. Let's clear these fields. I should have wanted to clear the fields, but I don't yet. Next version. Or patch. Mwahaha. <laughs> Alright, Python. T K I N T E R. Welcome, Python. Yeah, I'm proud. You know. Being that I just learned this today, I'm gonna say that I'm 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 pretty proud. Woot. So, anyways, um, if you uh, want to know how I did this or anything like that, um, 
sure. Put them in the archive. Um, if you want to know how any of that's done, <laughs> eventually, maybe I'll make a tutorial. Probably not anytime soon, though, because I'm no expert, obviously. I'm getting excited over something like that, so... Don't expect any tutorials soon, but that was just kind of a demonstration. Thanks for watching.